Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna go see if I can't catch some salmon. Salmon, trout, uh, I don't know, mainly targeting coho. I got the, uh, the orange dodgers on and I got the uh, green and blue uh, peanut flies on. And typically coho bite that. 4.15 on Sunday night and I figured I'd get out for a couple hours quick, see if the fish are biting. It's pretty warm out, it's probably like 63 degrees. So I figured I'd give it a shot, uh, see what's happening.
riding them today. All right, we've got a 45 line on counter, 25 line on counter, and 40 line on counter. Still going around 2.3, 2.4 miles per hour. I just got this new GoPro Hero 5 Black. So I have no clue what type of sound it has on it yet, how well it is at picking up sound. So I very well could be just yelling at you guys this entire video. But the engine is loud back here, so it makes me want to talk louder because I think you guys can't hear me. I guess we'll find out. The thing is with these cohos and catching them on uh, the flasher fly or the, the Dodger peanut fly combo is that usually coho are uh, smaller. So when they're swimming, their head shakes a lot more, which it makes it easier for them to spit the hook. You kind of just want to crank them in as fast as you can give them the least amount of time to spit the hook and another problem with these peanut flies is well one there are three hooks but the hooks are pretty small the flies are pretty small so the hook doesn't hook them very well and then two if you do hook them using the the fly and the uh the dipsy diver both put a lot of weight on the weight on the line and so if this fish is swimming forward or if it's flopping around, lots of times there'll be a lot of slack line in between the dipsy, the dodger, and the fly, which takes the pressure off the hook and it's easier for the fish to spit the hook. So you want to keep as much pressure on them as you can and reel them in fairly fast so they don't have much time to sit there and flop around because that's all they do is flop around. And once you get them in the boat, as you can see, it's a big mess. motor back into the harbor put the boat back on the boat trailer head home play some fish nice night on the water when you're in the harbor and it's calm if you did enjoy the video uh, please give me a like uh, subscribe it really helps it helps people um, find the video it puts it up in the search list and it um, shows that there's more activity going on with the video people like the video so it it helps people find the video, and if you enjoyed it, hopefully they'll enjoy it. And bring our fish in. Got our nice makeshift stringer here. Still flopping around a little bit there. Those are gonna be tasty little morsels. I'm excited.